Hi guys, JP from FSI Panel. In today's video, I will show you how you can fly quick approaches using the beautiful Inibals A340-300 and FSI Panel 2024 Advanced Edition. I will show you all the steps required and how easily you can be on final approach or on downwind or uh, in vectors position to fly your approach. So let's start from the beginning and before I forget, please subscribe to the channel. All right, so let's have a look at the steps required. All right, as always with FSI panel, the first thing to do before you start the software is to select your aircraft, of course. So here I'm going to fly the A340-300 and select the airport where you want to practice. So here we are going to try Geneva. Let's go on runway 22 and I have the live weather condition. From there, I can just click start flight. All right, here we are in the cockpit of our A340-300 sitting in Geneva on runway 22. And as always with FSI panel, you wanna make sure of a couple of things. First of all, make sure your engines are running. I have uh, people flying and the engines are not running. Of course, that will not succeed. So engines are running, no ECAM memo, nothing here is no malfunctions. We have the IRS aligned, so basically the aircraft is in a good shape to fly. Then another thing you want to check, I'll show you that right there in the EFB settings, you see the pause at top of descent feature. So I highly recommend you to disable that when you fly with FSI panel. The reason is very simple. FSI panel will put you just before top of descent on the approach and then the uh, aircraft will be in pause mode here and then FSI panel will not be able to continue the setup of your MCDU or uh, to continue to set up the aircraft as it is on pause. So make sure if you fly with FSI panel, you disable that feature. Another thing you wanna do here is uh, to set the weight if you want to. So if you go to the payload and fuel right there, you can load your aircraft as you like. So you can basically set the fuel for your training session to whatever you want. So if I want, for example, here, 23 tons of fuel, I can load my fuel. And the same thing with the payload, I can enter a zero fuel weight that I like to fly. So let's say today, 160 tons, instant load, and my aircraft is loaded. So we have seen here how to do the first steps. And as you can see, we have now a message here that the fuel zero fuel or ZFCG disagree, do not worry about that. FSI panel will take care of it. If your engines are not running or you are not in a ready for takeoff state, you can go here into the EFB and click on ready for takeoff. Always give some time, make sure everything is stable on your engine before you go any further. That's very important. For the rest, we are ready to go. Before we start FSI panel, remember you always set your aircraft on the runway. Now you can make sure the module is enabled. You click here. You have the message that FSI panel is ready, status connecting, and now we can start FSI panel. So let me start FSI panel and we will try a vectors for ILS on way 22. All right, FSI panel has started. The first thing you want to see here is the correct aircraft detected. And then the variables are initialized. That will take a couple of seconds. In the meantime, you can see that we're in Geneva on runway 22. This is what we want. And that's it. We are ready to fly. So the first thing we will try is a left-hand vectors. So left-hand vectors is like a 30 degrees intercept to the ILS for runway 22. You can see in the summary, we're going to be on vectors for the ILS runway 22, and we should be at 8 nautical miles final at 3,700 feet. So we are ready to go. I'm going to click move aircraft and we go in the simulator and we will follow exactly what FSI panel is asking us to do. So look at that. It says preparing your aircraft, make sure your hardware flaps lever is set to one. So I have here the uh, trust master captain. So I will set my flaps to one to make sure I match what FSI panel wants. And then we just wait for FSI panel to complete the first part. It's working on the initial part of the MCDU. And now we have the message preparing your approach. Please release the parking brake. So I'm just going to release my parking brake here. Let me show you that. Here we go. And then FSI panel will give me the next instruction, which is to set the trust lever to the climb detent. So here we go. I'm doing that. And now I will not touch anything at all until I have the message to take control. So the aircraft start moving and suddenly we will be in the air. 
Here we go. And now it's very important, do not touch anything. Let FSI panel do its magic. Watch the show. You can see the gears going up. You can see that the autopilot has been engaged. And now FSI panel is programming the MCDU. So it will select for you the ILS Runway 22. So it's very important for that to work properly that you have the correct air rack. So the same Navigraph database in FSI panel and in the simulator. Otherwise it might fail and uh, that's it. Now, this is not over yet because FSI panel will set the performance as well. So we'll see that in a couple of seconds. Alt cruise. So here the ID is to reach 3700, which is the altitude we have here. And then FSI panel will continue with the MCDU setup. You will see that here inserting the weather. Provided the airport you're flying as a METAR, then FSI panel will insert the QNH or the altimeter setting is if you are in the United States. And then it will set the wind. And here we go. Now the next message you're expecting from FSI panel is this one, aircraft ready, hold your brake for three seconds to take control. So basically what is happening now, we are in a position freeze, kind of. So the aircraft moves and FSI panel brings it back to the right position. If we look outside, we have our Airbus, which is on flaps one configuration, as you can see, and we are basically ready to take over control. Everything has been set for us. We have the lights on. We have everything as it's supposed to be, and we can basically take control of the aircraft by holding the brake for three seconds. And after I have control of the aircraft, right now you have control, I can arm the approach. Second autopilot if required, and now I can fly my first approach in Geneva. We can see the runway here, and remember that should bring us at around 8 nautical miles final for the runway 22. So I will fast forward these, uh, this approach, and then I will show you how you can fly a uh, short final. So let me fast forward this approach. All right, short final runway 22, and I will disconnect the autopilot, let's say at 500 feet. Here we go, and I will show you why later on. And we are going to try our first landing. Land. reverse diesel and we are just going to stop here on the runway manual braking out of reverse and let me stop on the runway all right so we did our first landing and I want to show you a couple of things let's have a look at the landing report first so here we have a summary. You can see here the landing distance, the rate of descent, couple of information, but if you want the full information, you just click on full landing report, and then you will get this kind of information where you can see everything about your aircraft, some comments about your landing. You can see that we were flaps full, auto brake low, we disconnected the autopilot at 490 feet. We can see a lot of information and we can see how we performed flying the approach. If you want to save that landing report, just click right there, and now it's saved and it's available from uh, the option of FSI panel. So that's how you can practice uh, and repeat and see where you need to uh, improve. All right, another thing I want to show you, uh, in the simulator itself, maybe sometimes after two or three landings, you might get the hot break. To reset the hot break, you have the feature right there, you go to the... Uh, EFB and you go to maintenance and on maintenance you have reset brake temperature. Click on that and you're clear to go for the next approach. All right, so we just landed in Geneva. Let's let's uh, do now a short final. Let's say we just landed and we want to do another landing. 
and we just want the aircraft to be on short final in Geneva runway 22. So let's take FSI panel and select that. So here we go. I'm going to select short final, which by default is four nautical miles. And I'll just need to click on move aircraft and we are back in the simulator and we follow again what FSI panel tells us to do. So here, move your RF flap lever to full. So I'm going to do that as well on my uh, trust master and that's it. And now you can see that FSI panel is working a little bit on the MCDU. So we are just waiting for the next instructions here before we do anything. And remember, do not interfere with the setup. All right, release your parking brake. I'm doing it right now and set trust lever to climb detent. So let's do that now, climb detent. Here we go. And now I will watch the show. So the aircraft will start to uh, spool up the engines and then we will be in the air anytime soon. Here we go. And now watch the show, do not interfere. So you can see autopilot is engaged, the speed has been engaged. And now FSI panel will be working on everything with the lights, as you can see, all set for landings. And we should have everything set. Auto brake as desired. And now FSI panel will insert the ILS approach. And then once we are at the platform altitude, 2400, so you can see the aircraft is very close to 2400 feet, then FSI panel will activate the approach and set the weather information. So here we have alt cruise and you can see that we are nicely on short final and I just need to wait for FSI panel to complete the process. It will take another 15 seconds, probably even less alt cruise. And now FSI panel will continue with the last step of the MCDU, which is to activate the approach and then set the weather condition. Here we go. You can see QNH temperature and the wind will be inserted done and now we get the message that we can take over control anytime so aircraft ready audio break for three seconds to take control at this time i can still modify anything i want in my routing i can change anything i want and when i'm fully ready to fly this approach again i'm going to hold my brake for three seconds one two and three and once i get the message you have control i can then arm the approach and check that the aircraft capture localizer and glide slope so here you can see we are slightly left so i will just correct and that's it localizer glide slope is coming so we are four nautical miles final and we can just complete landings and landings and landings so let's go down here I will take the autopilot off again this time, let's say at uh, 600 feet. We land, I will show you how you can bring the flows and do the after landing or repeat the same approach without going again into FSI panel. So this is something you, you can do if you want to repeat approaches, short final, short final, without having to go back in the uh, FSI panel interface. Okay, so we are 700 feet, so let's take the autopilot off. And now on this one, we are going to try a long landing to see if we get a bad command from FSI panel. So I'm going to float a little bit and I will land slightly left of the center line. So this is on purpose to show you the landing report. So we are going to refuse the ground. So right now everything looks good. And now I'm getting afraid of the ground, which is a typical mistake. And I will go slightly high. And now we have three wides. And now what is important is not to increase your rate of descent and have a sink rate. So you just have to accept the fact that you're a bit high and we are going to aim for the end of the touchdown zone and slightly left, as I said. So we expect to land at around 800 meters mark. This is to show you the landing report. Okay, so reverses, diesel, and I'm going to stop again here on the runway to show you the landing report, and then I will show you the um, after landing flow. So let's start with the after landing flow so you can see how you bring the flow. Okay, so I just landed here in Geneva, and now if I use my keyboard combination for the flow menu, which I'm going to do right now, FSI panel bring us a couple of options. You can do the after landing flow with the APU on. 
You can do the after landing flow with the delay APU start in case you have a long taxi, or you can, you can sorry, repeat the same training. So if you click on repeat same training, FSI panel will put you back at four nautical miles final, and you can repeat and repeat the same approach. So let's try now an after landing flow with the APU on. So if I click on it, now I can just taxi my airplane. Remember that if you have a trust master like me, even though the flaps are moving to up, as you can see, it's always good just to follow to make sure the flaps are not extending later on. And now FSI panel is doing the everything for you and you see after landing flow completed. So if we look, we can see that the lights have been turned off. My APU is starting. The uh, TCAS has been turned off. The flaps are up. The weather has been turned off. The uh, weather on terrain has been turned off. So everything, the terrain, sorry, on ND has been turned off. So basically you can just taxi your airplane to the gate. All right, so let's stop here and have a quick look at the landing report. So this time, as you can see, I was aiming for 800 meters. I'm very close to it. And if I click on full landing report, we are left of center line. That's exactly what we were wanted to do for the, the uh, training purposes to show you that. So long landing just within the limit. I was aiming for 800, so we are close. Left of center line, so this is where I need to train. And we can see that we started to be high on short final. Right there, we were just on the limit and then recovered. So this is how you can train and practice and repeat. So if I save it, let me show you where you find these landing reports. You go to setup and now you have landing reports and you can see your landing reports. And in Amber, you have landing report where you have something wrong. And if, if everything is normal in uh, white as here, you had no problem with the uh, approach. And red, something was unsafe, maybe long landing, too much bank or you were too much uh, left or right of the center line so that will show in red if you want to click on the landing report you can see a basic summary of the weather you had and the wind and what is the main thing and if you open the landing report again you can see it and that button here will let you print that landing report if you want to class classify everything uh, for your um, for your tracking all right, so that's how you can fly quick approaches using FSI Panel 2024 Advanced Edition and the beautiful Enables A340-300. Hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel, and I see you very soon for another training session. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.